fan, man. We back in the building. DG47 Arms back with more content. As promised, you already know. Man, I've been meaning to get this video for a while now. I've been telling a couple of my subscribers that um, I'm going to make this video. So now that I finally got time to do it, y'all see what it is. So, uh, man, let's get down to business, man. So, I got this mini Draco right here. And I got this AKT EL trigger by ALG. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to field strip this or basically take all the components out of the firearm to get down into the trigger. So with this AK is not a dust, uh, it's not a hinge dust cover. So take that off. We're gonna sit that right here inside our tray. And number two, we are going to extract our recoil spring. Bam. Next, we are going to take out the bolt carrier group. Oop, we're take the safety off first. Bam. Now we take out our bolt, bolt carrier. Let me this right here. Shit that right there. All right, so first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna get this safety off. We can just turn this all the way up. Take that out like that. After that, we are going to like that. got the fire control group out. Everything is sitting in a compartment. You know, you can start spraying this stuff down. You know, this is what I mean about your gun vice. You can start spraying this stuff down. Bam, bam, bam. And not even worry about it. You can wipe all of that stuff out when it's finished. But I'm just giving you an example of how you can clean your bolt carrier group everything let that stuff soak while you're cleaning your firearm and what we're going to do is bam hit the trigger and so now we're going to grab our hook tool you see that right there got that hook on it so it's going to allow me to grab the trigger spring feet we're going to bring that one back wrap it behind the hammer we're going to grab this next one and if you've seen the video already, please don't let these springs hit you in your fingers because they will damage you. So what I like to do is I take a rubber band or something like that and I tie them around so that while I'm taking off the hammer, I don't worry about these feet whipping back. And I'm telling you, they do damage. I have been hit by them before. Anybody who's taking the trigger group out knows what I'm talking about. You don't want to get hit by these springs. So tie them back, that's my advice. All right, bam. All right, so, first thing we like to do is take this Krebs, what is this? It's not the shepherd's hook, but it's the actual retaining plate. And what I did was, uh, I replaced this, that stupid shepherd's hook, but this is the retaining plate that replaces the shepherd's hook. And again, we throw this right down in your trays. You don't have to worry about looking for that. We got that retaining plate out. We push these pins out because the retaining plate is actually holding the pin in. And you see that? Bam. Do a little bit of moving around. You get the first pin out, drop it down. That is the pin for the spring. And just like that, you got your spring out. So. All I did was move the retaining plate. Once you move the retaining plate, the pins are gonna start moving. You wiggle the pins a little bit, hit it with the punch at the same time, and bam, just like that, you got your trigger, or you have your hammer out. What is this, this connector spring, we're gonna push this connector spring down, and as we push the spring down, let me, let me go ahead and get you a zoom in on this. As we push the spring down, 
this right here is going to allow me to push the pin out. So right now the tension is on. As I push this down, the tension goes off. So now I gotta find this pin. Bam, see that? As I push the pin down, it pops out. Bam. Got my next pin. Drop it down. Trigger out. Just like that. So if you never tried, you will never know. But none of this stuff is really hard. I mean, you're sitting here watching me do it. I have not been fooling with firearms, but you know, a year and a half, maybe a year and three, four months, something like that, give or take. Uh, it's not hard to do. You just gotta, you know, if you wanna do it, you can do it. Watch this video and you know what I'm saying? You can figure it out. So got the whole trigger group out. Everything is out. Look down here, let me see. Let me get you a zoom in. Bam! What that do? Ain't nothing in there. Everything that was in there is down here. You know what I'm saying? So what we've taken out is the trigger. We've taken out the retaining plate. We've taken out the safety. You know, and all the components that came out with the field strip. So now, you know, that cleaning video that I showed y'all, when I gave y'all the six tips on what new owners should have, and here we go. This cleaning rod right here, now is the time to clean. While you got all of this, the components out, you have a clear shot at all of your insides of your firearm. You thread this with uh, maybe a little bit more than this. But you can run this through the burrow, clean all the gook out, and then, you know, clean it, use another piece, and get right back to it. But ultimately, that's a really easy cleaning method. Okay, now let's get back to work. Now that we got the fire control group out, so now I bring in this. ALG AKT EL trigger lightning bolt. And as you can see, it got the you know, it has a, a different shape trigger right here. And then you look at the lightning bolt. It's more straight, it's more streamlined, and it's definitely a faster trigger. Now what I got right here, I got me a pair of channel lock. Right now, we'll get ready to show you how I smoothed out the action on my firearm, which makes the AK shoot much faster. There's less hang up on the bolt carrier and the, and the hammer face. So, what you want to do is smooth this out. Get your dimmer tool. And you can smooth it down just like that. I got a lot of these channel locks. A lot of people like to put it inside of a vise. But uh, I don't have a vise. And this is why I, I recommend a Dremel tool. Because some of the stuff that you're going to pay somebody else a whole bunch of money to do, man, you, you can do that stuff yourself. So, I'm representing for the uh, for the new for the new guy. So the first thing we're gonna do is get this spring. You gonna set that spring inside of there like that? Can you see that? And then we're gonna set this spring inside of here. It's a little dimple down in there. Let me see if I can get some light. You see that little dimple down in there? Set the spring right down in there like that. And then we're gonna push it, push the spring down. And once you push the spring down, you get an opening so you can push the pin through. So we're doing everything back. We're gonna put the trigger in first. Oh, so I did manage to get this, this pin in. And you guys just don't know, I lost this pin about a year ago. And that's why I had to take the trigger out because the safety wouldn't work without this pin. And I went in the bag a couple of days ago and I actually found the roll pin. So this thing is super duper hard to get in. Uh, so what I did was I used some needle nose pliers to get this in. And then once I got it in, I used these channel locks to make sure the roll pin was completely in. And this was my dilemma. So now I got the roll pin in. You yes. dropping the trigger back in. Then I connect the spring. 
now what we're going to do is drop this down inside of there. All right. We got it halfway through. And now what we got to do is we got to fit this spring on this side of this latch. So we're going to put this in like this. We're gonna need some needle oil pliers for this. Right, we're gonna get our other pin. This side. pins in. First thing you do once you get those pins in, get this retaining plate and put that back on. So now what I can do is I can let this hammer back down. Hold these down feet so they don't slap in your fingers. Yeah so what we want to do is get this all unwrapped. And then we're gonna free the feet up. We're gonna lock them back down, put them back in position. All right, bam, feet free. We'll take these from around and let that one down, bam, in place. Let that one down, bam, in place. Yes. Pretty much, yes. ladies and gentlemen. We got our cricket back in. Yeah. Good money. So now, what? Got that smoothed out right there. And then come back. Start from the back way. We'll take our both player group up. We're gonna put our buffer back in. And grab my recoil spring. And if that was easy to y'all, then guess what? You probably can do it yourself. So that's it right there. We're gonna grab our dust cover. Keep double coat. Keep pressing on it. Keep pressing it. Keep pressing it. There you go. That's it. we ran into people was I needed this roll pin to be shaved down. The safety couldn't move all the way around. So I had to shave yes. this down to make clearance so that the trigger would not be able to engage or the selector was on safe. All right, so now we're gonna drop that back down in. Bam, got the retaining plate back in. Grab our hook tool and do these. Move on. Woo! Almost got me. Hook two. All right, guys, and let's see what happens. Gotta put our safety selector back in. If this works. I have gunsmith my way through another situation. whole trigger group back in here. I've shaved the uh, roll pin down. Now let's see if we got any fire. So, take the safety selector down so it goes off. Let's see, bam. I'm gonna cut the hammer back one more time. We're gonna put the safety on. No fire. Good fitting by me. Once again, I've done more gunsmith work for what I can do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say I certified myself. I'm just saying that, man, I've taken the chances. I've I've ran into problems. I look at the fitting, 
figure out what I have to do. There we go. All right. Put our buffer back in. We can put our recoil spring back in. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm happy to say I got my AK, my ALG AKT trigger back in. And uh, I'm actually, we just installed it into this Draco right here. LG AKT trigger installed inside the mini Draco and uh let's see she sounded good let's see the throw on the trigger ah yeah man that's nice and so man for $65 the ALG AKT trigger it's a no-brainer I mean you're going from a six and a half pound trigger down to a two and a half to three pound trigger. And uh, like I say, that's just a no brainer. It's an it's a excellent upgrade you know I'm to a AK pistol. And I mean, if you're gonna spend the money on it, you might as well go all the way. Go ahead and put your new drop-in trigger, new ALG drop-in trigger. And uh, I think you'll be satisfied with the results. It's definitely going to affect your shooting in a positive way. And uh, yeah, man, if you can find this trigger, cause I hear a lot of people say that it's out of stock, but I went to AK Operators Union website and I ordered it from them. ALG didn't even have it in stock, but AK Operators Union did have it in stock. So find yourself an ALG trigger if you got an AK. And uh, with that being said, man, if it's your first time on the channel or you enjoy the content, please hit that like button, man. And if you want to stick around, you know what I'm saying, and, and enjoy the channel more in depth, go ahead and subscribe to the page, man. We would love to have you as a subscriber. Shout out to my subscribers, man. We're about to reach 300 subscribers in a little over a month. I appreciate y'all, man. Giveaways coming up soon. Stay tuned. Y'all already know the model, man. Those that stay ready ain't got to get ready. And we out.